Congressman, welcome to the show. You just heard what Congressman Vesey had to say about your comments. You've also been criticized by House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries and the head of the DNC, Jamie Harrison, both of them black. One of them black from Brooklyn, like you were born in Brooklyn, I was born in Brooklyn. What's your response? My response is, is that it's very interesting how people can just lie and mischaracterize what I said. The videos on my social media go to at Byron Donalds. You could listen to it in full. I never said or insinuated anything about Jim Crow being better. Just was talking about the marriage rates of black families in America during that time period. It's empirical fact. You mentioned black Jim Crow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've watched your video. You mentioned Jim yeah. Crow four times. One time you referred to families. All families uh, uh, did less. They had higher divorce rates in the 60s and 70s as as the nation opened up. This wasn't because of Jim Crow kept blacks. Get blacks couldn't vote. Those families couldn't go that. downtown. I mean, to, to in any way that. infer that the families, black families were better than Jim Crow. I mean, I've said things that I've later said I shouldn't have said it that way. I've never Can't said you that. own that even sanitizing Jim Crow, I even if that wasn't your intention, was to say that's my intention. I'm sorry for using those words? Well, well, first of all, I never sanitized Jim Crow. I was just talking about the era in which black marriage rates were higher than they were during the Great Society and every Jim other Crow. point in American but history. why did you because say Jim Crow? Because that's a period of time, Reverend. The period of time was the 50s, if you, if you want to say the 50s. That's when it happened. You said Jim that's Crow. That's when it happened. Jim because Crow. Because that was the era in which marriage rates were higher. Jim Look, you Crow had Joe Biden a couple a years ago talking about Jim Crow 2.0. Talking about Georgia's law, he lied. He lied then. So are we not allowed to talk about that era or only are we allowed to talk about it when we yes. do want and to recall all the talk history of Jim Crow era, and all the tragedies that occurred during Jim if Crow? If we are going we to choose talk which one about we the era, Con yo, they did not wait a minute to get into an argument back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. This is what I want to see. This is two grown men having a conversation. I hope it leads to something. I hope it leads to something because right now, Jim, all Al Shopter wants to know is why did you say Jim Crow, bro? Out of everything, why did you say Jim Crow? That's like saying that black people stuck together more, far more back in slavery. I mean, we had on chains, and that's why we were sticking together. But we stuck together. That's where Al Shopton is coming from. But Byron Donalds is saying, yo, you took everything I said out of context. I can use whatever point of reference that I want to use. I knew where I was going with this. I was trying to make a statement. You all missed it because you got so locked into the Jim Crow reference that you want to run with that, making it seem like I'm trying to tell people that Jim Crow was this great time where everybody was holding hands and skipping through lilies and, and blowing bubbles and eating cotton candy that's not what he's saying at all we have been teaching people how to grow online it's been absolutely amazing we have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days growing youtube channels some from zero people we have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me he started helping him his views went up 4.8 million percent we're super excited if anybody ever want to grow on youtube you reach out to me with the word coach congressman and you name a race based law then you cannot take race out of the fact jim crow was a law against black people you weren't just talking oh, about I know. the era of I'm dwight well eisenhower and 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 harry truman you named jim crow there's only one way you could deal with jim crow and that's by race i mean look I'm, uh, look, you and I have mutual friends. People say you're a straight shooter. I, I, we may disagree on politics. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. But look, you were born in Brooklyn. You went down into the South, went to Florida State. You have an interracial marriage. You're the congressman of a district that's not a black district. I mean, how can you even live with yourself acting like Jim Crow was a good era or better era for blacks? What happened to okay, you? Okay, that's real cute. He did not say that Jim Crow was a better era for blacks. He did not say that. But he's saying you inferred it. Now, when you listen to this conversation, please do me a favor. And I do realize a lot of people who are listening to this and watching this right now with me are not because how the algorithm works. The only reason why you clicked on my videos is because you've seen a bunch of my videos. And the only reason why you've seen a bunch of my videos is because you've clicked one or two before. And now more of my videos are being showed to you. That's called the algorithm. Now, because of that, I assume you have not watched many 
Al Shopton videos where you appreciated what was coming from his point of view because of where he stands. So as you watch this live stream, just do me one favor. Try to be objective. Try to hear both sides. Try to hear both sides. We do realize what's happening. I do. I understand. We do realize what's happening. But try to hear both sides because we have to understand that one person has been embedded, embedded in, cult, in, 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 in one side, which is the left. And that's all they know. They've been speaking about this all their lives. And he's past 70 right now. So you got to understand, you he's not going to change his stripes from one conversation. He is in a circle of people, a community of people that only talk about things from this way, this side, the left side. So Al Shopton is coming from that position. So when Al Shopton is speaking, he's not only speaking for himself, he's speaking for a great number of individuals who are on the left, his friends, his associates, all of those people. So he's not budging. He knows where his talking point is. He knows what he's trying to get across to Byron Donalds. And he believes, he really believes, if you look in his eyes, you can tell he actually believed that he's helping Byron Donalds out by saying, yo, young brother, what you said was irresponsible and you just need to admit that. Because there's nothing positive about what you're saying. That's what he's trying to say. But Byron Donalds is like, but what you're doing is, OG, what you're doing is, respectfully, you're missing my point. Because I only pointed out that time period because I was making a bigger point. Something that Black America need to take hold to. But because they gravitated toward the negative part and they only grabbed that Jim Crow part, they missed the entire point. And he is making a great point because we have moved further and further and further away from the ways of God, which is marriage and family and values and integrity and character. And the list goes on and on and on. But I'm just letting you know, Al Shopton is coming from a real place, might not be the place that you're from, but he's coming from real. That's the only reason why I'm checking this conversation out. Y'all already know where I rock. I'm on Byron's um, by McDonald's side because I think the young guy, he, he mean well. He knows what he was doing. He did. Should he have said Jim Crow? You know what? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Based off of how everybody's responding to him saying the Jim Crow and referencing the Jim Crow era, he probably shouldn't have said it. He probably he he should have just said, you know what? Back in the forties, you know, what I mean, back in the fifties and forties, the the thirties and the forties and fifties and sixties, blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? But that's not the case, I. Right? That's real yeah, cute. I did not, not say cute. that. I'm and I'm not going to sit here and insinuate question. that against you. Because right now you're lying about what I said. I did say Jim Crow. I did Four reference times. it three times. That's not to say that it was better. I never said that. Those words never came out of my mouth. When are you going to get that through your skull and everybody else's skull? I never <laughs> said that. And it me. Let's go. Let's go, Byron. He said, when are you going to get that through your skull and everybody else's skull? You're not talking to no punk, Al Shopton. You're not talking to no punk, bruh. You're talking to a young man who is very intelligent. He's very poised. He's chill. He's relaxed. He's calm. And you see when he said, when you're going to get that through your thick skull, look, I was shocked and looked away like, whoa, is he? Whoa, it's getting real. Hold on. What? Hold on. What? You talking to me like that? I'm, I'm Al Shopton. I'm the OG of black politicians, bro. I've been doing this since I was 20. I've been doing this for 60 years. You know, I slapped Jesse Jackson. <laughs> I used to slap box Jesse Jackson in the pocket lot of White House, of the White House back in the day. Are you going to talk to me like that? When Martin Luther King was walking down the street and he punched Eddie Murphy in the stomach, I was with him. So this dude is an OG, man, and he feels highly disrespected that Byron Donalds won't sit there and take this whooping is what he want him to do. Take this lashing, bro. I know what I'm talking about. Shut up. But Byron Donalds ain't going to fold, man. He's just not. Oh. When are you going to get that through your skull and everybody else's skull? I never said that. And the difference Maybe between me and a lot of other Republicans, I'm not going to heard what you here. said. I'm you said it was be better for us I'm not gonna let you under Jim Crow to you bring families lying. together. Did everybody you say that? Lying. Hakeem Everybody's Jeffries was lying. lying. The Biden campaign was okay. lying. All right. Go look at my words. Well, Go look at my words. Right. People can did look I say at your Jim words. Crow was better? You no, said, I did not. You said I did not say Jim Crow was better. We had families more together. I did not have nostalgia. I never said any of those things. I was talking about black families and black family marriage rates during that time. Okay. And the All right. Then what did Jim Crow do to contribute to black families? Hello? I'm not talking. Oh, my gosh. You what said, said that you, you said under I mean, Jim, I said about Crow, Jim black Crow, black families. <laughs> so explain to me what Jim Crow did to help black families. 
the marriage rates during the Jim Crow era were higher for black families. Because up until of Jim the point Crow? Of the great- he didn't say because of Jim Crow, bro. And he did not say that Jim Crow helped black families. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He did not say that, bro. They're mixing up what the Jim Crow do for black families. He didn't say that it did anything for black families. Can we just listen?